Good morning, Eastern Youth Network. Good morning, fellow youth in the course of truth. Good morning, beloved brothers and sisters out there. Good morning, Africa. Today, I am discussing an important aspect of Igbo culture. Who we are. And the symbols as associated in our culture. And that discussion today for the Igbo culture is what we call Omenana Dinali Igbo. Omenana or Dinani Igbo. Mobo Menana Dinani Igbo. Mobo Menana or Dinani Igbo. That is Omenana. Oburu Naga, if we understand the Omenana, then you will now begin to understand who you should do the Omenana for. <coughs> Today, Obacheta, I ain't a cook who banana Omena omena Nebo. Obuginibu Omenana Ibo. Obuginibu Omenana. Omenana and Kedina Nebo. Oginibu Omenana. Obron Asege, De Kamu Korobia, Ge Kawa Ihebu Omenana. Obacheta. I ain't make him water, I ain't a chin make him water, I ain't a kuzirigi, he hebu o menana. O menana libu. Nkemere. O menana libu. Nkaneme. O menana libu. Nkemere me. O bukinibu o menana. Na libu. In the English translation, we are discussing about the ceremonial worship of Igbo culture, Omenana Igbo. What is that ceremonial worship? What is the Omenana? Why is the ceremony? Of what reason was the ceremony or is the ceremony? It is common in Igbo culture that we have always a ceremonial system which gave birth to celebrations oftenly in the name or in the guise of one thing or the other we make a ceremony it is part of our worship and now of what purpose was the ceremony performed number one the ceremony is performed in marriage Number two, the ceremony is performed in burial. Number three, the ceremony is performed in one act or the other, or in one elevation or the other, in the culture and religious necromancy of the Igbo culture. Omena and So today we are defining that ceremony. We are defining that part of our cultural existence. We are defining that part of our cultural worship as has to do with the presentation of the material physical in the brainology of the existence of mankind. That is what we are discussing today. In the necromancy of all lights, in the constitution of all truth, in the order of all rock, and that of all supreme that exists according to the governing act that God has kept. We are making this known to the world that a people of this independent nature require a way of livelihood and existence. 
by the time you understand the women and Igbo, you will understand that the culture or religions of this Igbo or black race is different and exceptional. None like it all over the world, and that is the key to the light that the world seek. Igbo culture, the women and Igbo. It is same in the four corners of the earth. In the Omena na Igbo, what is Omena na Igbo? Omena na Igbo, boemu me mere, di ke si le me ya bundi mere me. Omena na Igbo, boemu me mere, di ke si le me ya bundi mere me. Emuma emen obogene no me na ala ahun di omenala is the ceremonial act performed according to the performance of the ancients you see for example in the ceremony of burial, the real burial in the culture is not when the corpse or the disease is lowered to the mother earth. The main burial is the ceremony performed before the burial. You see, in Igbo culture, what is this ceremony? That the man my path have a peaceful passage and have a place in the kingdom of the father that is the reason for the ceremony as that associated with the burial that man might have a peaceful passage and have a place in the kingdom of the father without which that man will not have a place another will he have a peaceful passage but to remain in the dark revolving eternally never able and ever never able to find the light so Igbo culture the women and Igbo is what propels the salvation of mankind that is why in a ceremony there is drink. In a ceremony there is food. In a ceremony there is all kind of approach and act and in, 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 in decency in, in, in decree and in the acronym of all necromancy as has to do with that particular ceremony. Now, let me cite another ceremony of a good important that I have taught. I would love to point out Buishi, but I have not taught you about Abuishi. But I have taught you about a woman. So let me now take a woman as an ex insight example on that omenala as regards to a woman. The drink that you purchase during this ceremony that the people drink because this has to do with a spiritual pre-existence which in the gospel kada they call it a premortal life so the in Igbo culture we believe in the premortal existence of the mortal energy to activate the will of the presence in the process of establishing who we are and what we are and how we have come to establish that that we are. This is what it means in Igbo culture. Omenana. Omenani Igbo. It's not that the drink, without the drink, eh, 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 there will not be Omenana. No. That drink must be there because there is a drink offering. 
in all things, there must be a drink offering in the Omenala. The drink offering is what I will teach you as we connect it all to that which Christ has come to fulfill. That he died does not end anything, but he fulfills all things. He never ended anything. Rather, he fulfilled all things as that which is connected to the blood of sacrifice, which is to redeem mankind from darkness. That is the work of his sacrifice. That is the price of his blood. That the powers of darkness by the blood will let loose the captivity of the souls of men. And that he has accomplished. And uh, the Bible recorded that there was joy in heaven. Even when he was born, there was joy on earth. People celebrated. Have you asked yourself, what triggers the ceremony? There was a ceremony in the ceremony of the proclamation of his existence. There was a banquet. Let me use the word. Romena Libu, then they may classify it in the order of the, 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 in the order of, let me say, the other light, the Masonic light. Let me describe it in the order of the Masonic light. In the Masonic experience, the banquet that after labor, we go for banquet. You see, from banquet, we go on to labor. So that ceremony, that omenana, is the banquet of decision for proclamation and the decree of the existence of what is and what is to be. I think this might sound a little bit masonic in understanding. So I want the masons to know that the practice that they do in their lodges is the omena nebo. Now this omena, these ceremonies, these ceremonies, they are, these are ceremonies in the working, is ceremonial working. Okay, let me put it that way. Ceremonial working. I want you to understand what Omen Alibo stands. It is the ceremonial workings into decree of decree and as decreed in the decree that was and that that will be. You see, this is what the Omen Alibo stands for. So when we do the Omen Alibo, we activate that decree for which has been decreed which were before we were. So, if we don't do the ceremonies, we will not advance in strength, in power, and in exaltation towards the attainment of the power and the glory of that ind indivisible being which we call God. So we, we, the ceremonies gave us a central hold to the tripod of authority. That is the ceremony. Because each of the tribe and the portals were opened or binded together by the process of a ceremony. To, to the attainment of that power and that order, you will perform that ceremony in the Omenala. Of which it is called That is the women are neighbor. There are things to be presented in the process of the ceremonial ritual. The decree passed, the act performed, and the science illuminated becomes the decrinological science of that ceremony, of which the decree binds all against us, against that which has been made, which was according to the authority that was used to decree. That is the Omena Nebo. Ekike is different from Omena Nebo. Ekike, that is magical act, is different. 
completely. That is what we mean by AKK. AKK in our culture is magical art, a kind of charm. No, it is a different institution altogether. What we are talking about today is the institution of the Omen Ali Ibo, the root and the strength of all energy. Because the Omen Ala is the symbol of the decree. Omen Ala is the symbol of the knowledge. Omen Ala is the symbol of the science according to that which is the trinity, the chronological science. Decree, knowledge and science. In one. So, in that ceremony, at every given step of the ceremony, a decree is passed in the performance of a science which has to do with human presence as fruit of the tree of life. Omena Anibu is that which manifested the tree of life. And until for mankind to attain unto that glory, he or she must pass through that ceremonial approach according to the ancient order to be able to attain or assess that inner energy of creation. That is Omena Anibu. So it has branches. The woman is not because you took a little bit of pepper and they talk and throw away. It's rubbish. Nonsense. That is not woman That is just your act. That woman alibo is not when you take drink and begin to liberate and make your prayers. Yes, is woman alibo. But you told you one mine before that one mine. You told you so, these ceremonies in Omenala is what attain us to some certain functions in the relationship of mankind and the worship of the God. If you look at my costume this morning, you will understand that an ordinary, ordinarily, I am a native doctor. Yes. And uh, I look to some people, I look demonic. To some people, I look angelic. To some people, I look fearful. To some people, I think I look one thing or the other to one person or the other. But I want to teach you the symbols of this woman and Ibo in my leg area or in the costume before me. In the ancient order of the ceremonial rituals performed for creation of all things which has to do with the life and what life will be sustained with. They gathered which were born in the form of this nature, with a symbol of the eye as all-seeing eye to the glory of the three great kings. And then they assemble in their energy and make it to be in, in order of degree that which was not, and make it to be in order of degree from that which were unto that which also was not until all things were made in a different time according to one ceremony or the other. Before any decree is passed, a ceremony is performed. So these ceremonies as associated with creation is what the energy that disturbs the evil man and that which has to do with that wishy, or womly, and what have you in the world. I will teach you one by one. I want you to understand that our culture is the key of life. The Igbo man culture is the key of life.
That is where you will find peace. I want the world to give us chance. Let our culture stand as an independent nation and see if the glory of heaven will not be made visible here on earth once again. I know these things to be the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. And I testify before you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Subscribe with us, Eastern Youth Network. Work with us. We want you to understand if our teaching does not correspond in your culture as that which has to do with the black race. We are numbered, and that God is called Amadeo. And he has sent me to teach you the ways of the kingdom. He has sent me to prepare you that you might know the God that has given you the freedom and have made you great now and always. He is Amadeo. I don't know the name you want to call him in English. I don't know how you want to address him in your language. But as that which Igbo man know, which has made us who we are, we call him Amadeo. He is the supreme of all. And in the Bible that you and I read, he is the God of whom does ascribe or describe as the king of all kings. He is Amadeo. He has sent me to teach you. And I will teach you the right principles of our culture that you may be prepared to usher in his new government. Like what we are doing and also dislike what we say. Challenge our world so that we can be able to teach you more. Not in the form of tyranny, but ask and that ye may receive any mystery that you want that for in the culture of the black man. Come, we will review it unto you in the name of the Most High, I beseech of thee. Amen.